Welcome to Vitality and Values. This is for my Cancer signs watching this video. Uh, cancer, cancer, Moon, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So this is, let's see, what is Spirit asking you to... What is a calling for the month of... For the month of um, July? Let's just get an, an overview of what the energies are coming out here. And then we're going to get a message from Spirit, from your angel guides, as to what are they asking you to pay attention to. What are they guiding you? So here I see... I see a male, male and a female... I see a queen uh, of swords. She's very um, intellectual. She's quick. She's um, independent, logical, cool, calm, collective. Very kind of like just uh, matter of fact and logical. Uh, gets to to the point. Um, in contrast, in contrast would be you know like emotional, emotional. This woman is is um, logical, and the male figure coming out is associated with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a call for action, taking action, moving forward with the new idea with the new idea so I see Capricorn Taurus Virgo a business like woman it's being called to action with this new idea moving forward with maybe something that she's been um expecting or an idea an idea that she's had in mind um, an idea that generates reality so it's time for you to get out of your shell and generate that idea that you've been having and uh, so it can turn into reality Turn your dreams into reality. So what is a calling? What is the, the focus of change, Spirit? Well, these two fell out. The Hierophant and the Judgment card. So the focus of change may be self-judgment, a focus in belief system. Um, spiritually, how should this, this viewer respond spiritually? How is the viewer being asked to respond spiritually? With hope, optimistic, intellectually, how should the respond Take your time making a decision emotionally. Emotionally with optimis with the optimistic mentality emotionally. Physically. Basically, it's time to create. It's time to create. All right, Spirit, tell me about... Tell me about the Hierophant and the Judgment card. Leave something behind. Something that no longer serves you. 
it's time to renew those contracts and say, is this worth it? I'm done with this cycle. Leave what no longer serves you behind. What about for the star, sir? What about the star? Balance, judge, juggling. Um, spiritually. Spiritually. Spiritually, there's like this give and take. There's a, a working mother. Sensible, practical. She's a provider. She's stable. She's thorough, punctual, dependable, very conservative, detailed, um, hardworking, and structured. Very predictable, but very reliable. So spiritually, spiritually is like making making a decision. Yeah, I'm saying here like making a decision and solidify, um, solidifying a contract. You know. Um, about the hermit so intellectually you may feel betrayed um just um, like you have your guards up and so right now is not a time to make to make any big uh, moves right now is a time to reflect and recuperate um, self heal get um, get clear on your intentions in knowing what your your calling is, what is that? What is what is what is that inner passion, that inner child? What is that your creativity? So emotionally. Emotionally, is the fight worth it? Is the battle worth it? Think about think about the situation logically. With a cool, calm, collected state of mind. Removing the emotions out of there and just thinking logistics. Like, is this... Is this an equal give and take? There may be a marriage here that's coming up, you know, um, for a divorce or a separation, or it could be um, a relationship. Not, not so much a relationship. This is something more, this is something that's more um, tangible, con concrete. It's, it's, it's like a contract, like a marriage contract or a business contract and the belief systems are may not be in alignment and so there's a need to let go of of something that no longer serves you and letting go with an open mind with a clear logistic mind not not letting your emotions and your passions get the best of you so physically they're saying it's time to create To be nurturing. Intuitive. Wow. 
well. Well, that's beautiful. There's a stability. An opportunity is going to be... Physically, it's it's time to create and give. Give an offer. Um, it's going to bring communication. It's going to bring stability. And a passion... And something that you're passionate about is love, business, work, home, celebrations, uh, marriage. There's marriage. Marriage again. So there's a new offer of love by shifting the way you... Don't make any big decisions right now. Shifting the way you're thinking. Spirit, what is a message that you have for the viewer? For the month of July. What is her calling? His or, his or hers calling. Calling to action. Judgment. Get clear. Make a vision plan. A vision board. Abundance is coming. Yeah. Abundance in wealth, money, marriage. Trust. Trust. Have faith. So if this is resonating with you, um, please like, comment, let me know how how this resonates with you. I'd like to hear your story. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click on the little bell to be notified. See? I told you there's a celebration, a marriage, a, a union. Something is coming into action. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can cl click on the description box and you'll see a link below where you can book your personal reading with me. This is just um, uh, an overview for my Cancer viewers, um, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If this resonates with you, we can get into detail about your current situation and see what your calling, your calling is. So let's see. Abundance. A new flow of support is coming to you right now. Ask the angels to help you release fears about scarcity and that you can enjoy this increase in increased abundance. Your messenger angels announce the arrival of an inflow of abundance coming your way. The source of, of all abundance is God and some level and faith that the creator will supply your needs. Your faith even was even if it was small triggered an abundance that was that is manifesting for you right now. Keep your faith as it ensures a steady flow of support materially, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, and intellectually. A wonderful affirmation to help you stay in the stream of a steady flow is a, of abundance is I accept good gracious into my life. All of my needs are met abundantly for me now and always so yes so this is belief systems and knowing that you are being taken care of trust that your financial um, physical and financial needs are and will be met and that is a guaranteed celebration coming so celebration good news because your celebration is here and it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. The angels want you to know that the light-filled time in your life, that this is a light-filled time in your life. You have been working towards making changes and your intentions now have manifested into form. It is time for you to fill your heart with warm feelings of gratitude. The angels ask you through this card to hold strong, strong in this gratitude. You're like a gardener who plants seed and nurtures them because she has faith 
that her labors will yield and grow. Keep watering and tending to your seeds, and you will see, soon see them sprouting through the surface. The angels are your co-gardeners who help you tend to your crops. So this is definitely a, a woman, um, a nurturing mother, mother working woman. And I can see her, you know, attending to her seed, with but having faith, not having self-judgment or knowing that this is a karmic cycle and that everything is in her favor. But she needs to let go of the let go of the the inner conflict. Either if it's it's more um, ways of thinking in the mind, intellectually or physically, moving, traveling, and getting away, and trusting that. Everything is, is, is being created to bring her the, the happiness that she desired. Trust. Take action and create trust. Believe in yourself and have faith that God and the angels are with you. Ask them to help you lose the fears that block you from enjoying full faith. Your angels know that you've been disappointed in the past. These experiences may have eroded your faith in yourself, others, and even God. However, the angels remind you that the importance of holding on to your faith. By drawing this card, the angels emphasize the value of self-trust. They know that you, like everyone, have made mistakes in the past. However, these mistakes have not eroded your true nature. You still have omnipresent God within you, and God is infallible. The angels ask you to trust in God and trust in them. They will help you trust yourself. Mm -hmm. So, let's do one more... Let's do three more cards from this deck. And I'll sign off. Again, if you haven't comment, liked, or subscribed to the channel, please do so. If this is resonating with you and you call it, give me an amen. Comment amen. New beginnings and fresh start. Decide to be happy now. The angels have heard you and you are answering and are answering your prayers. Instead of making your happiness contingent upon future events, you can decide to be happy now. One way to do so is to focus on everything and everyone whom you feel grateful. What is working well in your life? What are your blessings and strengths? By allowing yourself to experience joy and pleasure, pleasure now you become empowered. Take control of your life and prevent outside influences from determining how you feel. Detach from the drama. Expect a miracle. Write a gratitude list. Maintain positive thoughts about the situation and open your heart to love. Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all goodness in my life. So see, that's what I said. Um, being optimistic, you know, turning that frown upside down and not letting, you know, not thinking, not mm, reacting emotionally and being more logic, logically, being more logical. Innocence. Archangel Michael is holding you in a com 
comforting embrace, assuring you for your innocence. Ask him to help you forgive yourself and let go of guilt, which is a heavy emotion that keeps you from experiencing inner peace. By saying, Archangel Michael, thank you for helping me forgive myself for, name that specific event, and for anything else I blame myself for. Please help me release all self-blame and from my mind, body, and emotions. Feel the sensation of deep release as Archangel Michael helps you embrace your true innocence. Your past behavior could never undo God's perfect handiwork in creating you as a perfect, loving, and much-needed being of light and love. The individual you are inquiring about is innocent. Possible meanings of this of this card is the individual you are inquiring about is innocent. Purify and detoxify. You can trust the situation that you are asking about. Focus on other people's good qualities instead of their mistakes. The prayer is... Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all the qualities of your pure love and light are reflecting within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence and so that I may be at peace. New beginning. Let's see. New beginning and a fresh start. As one chapter of your life closes, another one is beginning to bloom. Right now, you may notice that the first inkling of new growth is in your life. So Archangel Michael sends this card to encourage you to keep going. There's great goodness in store for you. Stay filled with faith and keep a positive outlook. Possible meaning of this card is a healing is imminent. You'll experience better conditions at work or a new job. Past mistakes are forgiven and forgotten. And uh, an improvement in a relationship is apparent. A relationship is blooming. A move to a new home may be forthcoming. An improved mindset boosts your happiness, and 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 an improved mindset boosts happiness and confidence. See, being optimistic will boost your 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 mindset will boost your happiness and your confidence. If you start. Um, Having gratitude for for things, you know, waking up early in the morning and having, you know, three things that you're grateful for and, and showing um, gratitude towards others. Let the past go. Clear, clear, clean, and declutter your home or office. Thank you for bringing me new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust that I experience these, this life, this life changes. So yes, that's a beautiful reading. Um, clear, cl clutter, declutter, detoxify, let go of the negative energy and start, you know, turn that frown upside down, be optimistic, uh, forgive, decide to be happy now. You can use uh, lemon oil in a diffuser to help, to help with the, with, um, Detoxifying, you can also put lemon oil in a water, on a water bottle will also help detox and help refresh. It's a clean slate and it helps promote creativity. Um, so yeah, let me know if you would like to book your personal reading with me. Um, just go ahead and click in the description box there and there's a link for you to book online. Have a good day.